I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the density of neutronium. Okay, so to define what neutronium is, let's take a look at a typical atom. Now, if you remember, we have positively charged protons, neutral neutrons, and then circling the nucleus, we have negatively charged electrons. So this is what a typical atom looks like. This one happens to be helium. Now, neutronium is something that doesn't consist of protons or electrons, so just the neutrons. So, when does neutronium exist and what is its density? Well, the most common type of neutronium is just one neutron hanging out by itself, otherwise known as mononeutron. And this happens during some radioactive processes and it has a half-life of around 12 minutes. So it exists for a little bit, but not that long. And its density is just the weight of whatever a regular neutron is. So nothing special there. Now the next one is di-neutron, so two neutrons. And this was only seen in 2012 for a tiny, tiny fraction of a second by some scientists. Um, so very unstable. And again, its density would be pretty much the same. It's just two neutrons. So now, scientists have figured out that the only time that a lot of neutrons packed together could exist would be in the final seconds of a star, a huge star dying. And during these final seconds, the pressure would be so intense that it could force a bunch of neutrons together, forming, forming real neutronium. And the density of this would be four times 10 to the 17th kilograms over meters cubed. And so this is actually 13 magnitudes more dense than any other substance. So uh, when I say 13 magnitudes, I don't mean 13 times, I mean like three to the power of 13, like many, many, many millions of times uh, more dense than any other substance. But remember, it could only exist in the last couple of seconds of a huge dying star. And so this is the big, super dense version of neutronium. Most of the time, it's just one mononeutron, mononeutron hanging out by itself. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the density of neutronium. Mm -hmm.